son of a bitch was that a goddamn fish and a half. Okay, trout number one. It, you did the Cajun flip? Yeah. Okay. Well, show, show the camera. I mean, we ain't out here just putting them to go, here. folks. First trout of the day. Looks like about a 15 and a half inch. You better measure them. I will. Measure them just Maybe he's 16, but we usually don't get a whole lot of throwbacks up here. Oh, God. He's 16 and a half. 16 and a half incher. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, I just happened to get one myself. Oh, I don't know yet. I said, uh, who let them dogs out? <laughs> I'm going to eat some trout tonight. I don't know. This fish don't feel that big. Yeah, let's take him on over here. And he just come off. Son of a bitch. How do they do that? I'm not going to eat no trout tonight. <laughs> I'm not going to eat any trout tonight. Yes, I am. You watch. I'm going to eat me some pea trout. The day is young. All right. Then it's just got another one right where he just got the other one. So let me see if I can go in there and... Uh, this might actually be a little bit big. Let's see if I can go in there and bogart this fish. Hey, I'll do it to you. Oh, I know you will. I gotta, instead, I gotta that's come the, over here and net him. That's why the why do I have to come over here and net him? Oh, nice. Yeehaw! Who let them dogs out? That's a nice one. Yeah, this is a little bit better, folks. This was going to be about 18. Uh, 18 and a half. Boy, he was up, too. <coughs> he was not going anywhere. Good. Good. He, Stick him where the sun don't shine. Uh-oh. Bat phone. They're watching the video. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we're fishing today. Yeah. Fish. <laughs> he says it's a big one. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a drag screamer. How you doing, man? This is a good year, folks. Hey, right, good. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll tell Dave bye for you. See ya. Take care, brother. <laughs> oh, look at the sidewinder. Look at him. Look how yeah, far out he is. That's it. That's him. Big. Okay, just set it up there on the way Shortest path of least resistance. <laughs> oh God, that's a nice one. He's 19 and a half. Oh, I got to put my just grab it glove on. I said, who let them dogs out? Yeah, baby. See, this right here is what makes Dave's world go round. Step back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think? He's 19? Eh, 19. 19. I know you were nine. calling my 19-inchers 16 inches last time we were up yeah, here. Yeah, well, live and learn, buddy. <laughs> live and learn. Hey, 19 and an eighth. Nineteen and an eighth. Goose. I'm gonna eat some trout tonight. <laughs> we gotta come up with a whole song with verses yeah. about eating trout, catching trout, stroking trout. Hey, we get somebody that can sing to sing it for us. It'd be a country hit. You know, I got my buddy Nick. Nick always said something about it. I, he needs to record a a. a um, he's got a decent voice. Mm -hmm. and he's a drummer and he's got all kinds of tracks that he can. Put together, sure. and he could come up with like a Jetty Wolf trout fishing theme song. There you go. How about it, Nick? Dennis is hooked <laughs> up again. Whew. First jack. First jack of the year, folks. That's not the earliest. I've had a March 5th under the Wonderwood Bridge, that same size. Let's see if this is the targeted species. One-handed operation here. <laughs> I 
I'm telling you. You know what this? You know what this is called right here? That's what this fell right down there. Look here, folks. This is called Sweetheartville. Another nice 18 inch. I'm not even going to measure this. God dang, I'm talking, I'm looking at you and my spool's smoking from underneath my thumb. You got it? I got one in the house. I'm not going to bite that. I've got one in the house. Oh, this is Sweetheartville. Oh. Out now what this needs to be is Sweetheartville on a Saturday. Yeah. Well, the, because I got I got a father and son on Saturday. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm backing off my drag. He's thrashing around so bad. Mm -hmm. But here's the problem on Saturdays, folks. For all you weekend folks. Uh, jet skis. Uh, the Sand cool boats? guys and the cool bay boats and flats boats. And they don't cut you no slack up here. They don't cut you no slack. That's the reason I always say, go on Monday or Tuesday and save $50 for two people. But I know everybody can't, but guess what? You just got to put up with, this is Jayville, man. I mean, we got a lot of people around here. A lot of people are out on Saturdays. And fair enough. I mean, they have to work during the week. It's the way it is, you know. Yeah, well, it's the way it is everywhere. I, I, you know, I can't perform miracles. Believe Atomic me. was the same way. But Saturdays was. You Believe me, I put. It's going on. It's the same I put time. land. I put. I put landmines up here. <laughs> I put water mines. Yeah. Burning down the house. That's what I call. A sweetheart. Really? Come on. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Where they been all winter? <laughs> well, the water temp is probably just so nice for them right now. Yeah. Huh. Twenty-one and a half. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Twenty-one and a half, folks. Nice. Yeah, baby. Nice eater. Like a flounder, that's the mouth of a predator. That's the mouth of a true predator. Like a flounder. Their mouth. You know, flounder's mouth ain't nothing to mess around with if you're a shrimp or a, or a minnow or a mullet or something. I need a drink after that. <laughs> All right, I'm hooked up on a sidewinder again. Whew. Don't you love... Don't you love catching trout that you really don't even have to measure? There's just another plain sweetheart, folks. A sweetheart. Yeah. The only time you have to measure is to make sure they're not over 20. That's it. Because they're definitely over 15. I mean, look at that beautiful fish. There we go. Okay, we took a brief hiatus. And now it's later in the day. It's taking forever for these this tide to change. And now we're back in a, whacking some sweethearts. Yeah, little hiatus. <laughs> this morning that bite was great. Then it fizzled off, of course, because of no tide. The current faded, and then it took forever for the tide to come in. And now we're back on. There's a timeline going on here. You just don't sit and just, you know, you gotta play the tides, folks. Play the tides. All right, well, we're back. Time to make the donuts again. But there we go. Got some trouts in there. Uh, I wanted to mention my Titan knife from the, uh, what is it called? Yeah, Titan Knife Company. Well, Titan Knife Technologies. Stewart, Florida, Maine, USA. I wanted to make mention that I just sharpened this the other day. And it was the first time I sharpened it in, I believe, five months of fish cleaning. And I just sharpened it the other day. So, um, the way you sharpen it is they give you, you can get from them 
this it's almost like an emery board and it's got a coarse and a um, fine side and it's an emery board about this big like soft foam almost and all you do is you sharpen one side and that would be like the opposite side of which where I have my name here and you just go back and forth like that real easy and I mean you don't even have to do it that many times you do you know maybe six times on the on the coarse side and then six times on the fine side and then flip it over and then just run it like that and it'll take the burr off and that's it after five months and I'm gonna just say conservatively you know 50 to 75 fish I mean it doesn't sound like a lot might be more than that I don't know but we're gonna add these to them right now and I'm gonna see how buttery my new my new sharpening job is so and I don't know if enough people do it but I'm trying to do it all the time now is make a slurry of ice and salt water to really chill these fish down thoroughly so let's see One, two, three, three of our shrimp? Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me they ain't eating our shrimp that fall off the hook. Oh yeah. Now the ultimate test. I always call this the ultimate test. That's what I want to do. Take it right off. Alright, so just the moral of the story. I just wanted to tell you that I haven't I haven't sharpened this knife for five months. I'd say that's pretty good. So we're gonna make the rest of these donuts and call it a day. I got Dennis's cameraman. Say goodbye, Dennis. Bye folks. See you later. Adios.